Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time of day it is and whatever part of the world you're at right now. Welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about congruent triangles. So number one thing to really uh, concern yourself with, with congruent triangles is the the order in which the letters appear. And then what I would call stacking the the angles, the names of the triangles on top of each other. So that way you can see which parts of the um, triangle of each triangle correspond to the other triangle. So, for example, number 10 says if triangle PQR is congruent to triangle WXY, find each value. So what I mean, what I was saying earlier by stacking, this is what I was talking about. Oops. All right, so it's stacking. This is what I was referring to. <clears throat> so with stacking, this is what I was referring to. P, Q, R, and W, X, Y. Now, when we do these, when we feel, when we try to figure out A through F, I'm just going to use a highlighter and do this like P, Q, is the same as WX. So P, PQ is the same as WX. So that's 7.3. Oh, excuse me, 7.7. Next, and I'm going to just go ahead and erase those markings. And now I can go ahead and take a look at the next one. WY or YW. YW is the same as PR. So YW is the same as PR, which is, or RP, excuse me, which is 15.4. So 15.4. All right. Then we have, and let me go ahead and erase those markings. And now we're going to take a look at XY. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So XY is the same as QR. X, Y, Q, R. So that's 17. D, letter choice D says angle Y. Well, let me, angle Y is the same as angle R. Angle Y is the same as angle R. Well, angle R is 27 degrees, so Y is 27 degrees. Okay. Next is angle Q. Angle Q, let me undo that. Angle Q is the same as angle X. So angle Q and angle X. Angle Q is gonna be 65 because angle X is 65 degrees. And remember, these triangles are congruent. For congruent triangles, everything that I'm displaying right now works for any set of congruent triangles the matching in the pairs all the way down to the angles because these over here that we're working on right now these are the angles okay and the first set that we did were the sides and the last one angle w is the same as angle p angle w is the same as angle p so it's 88 degrees all right, so that's a basic understanding of triangle congruency or congruent triangles. Now, number 11 is going to expand on this a little bit. We're going to have to do a little bit of more work. So number 11 says if angle JKL, I mean, excuse me, if triangle JKL is congruent to triangle MNP, find angle M. Well, let's go ahead and write out our letters again. So we'll do, what's this? J, K, L, and M, N, and P. So angle J is the same as angle M. So here's angle M, and here's angle J. Now, as we can see, and I want to rewrite this a little bit, because that ain't really like a J. There we go, J, K, L. All right, so being that J and M, we don't have any type of expression or angle measure there, we have to start somewhere else with our diagram. 
and um, if we look, angle K and angle N both have expressions, but let's see if they are, they're congruent. Angle K, angle N, so they are because they match up, okay? They are congruent. So we know that we can take these two expressions here. Oops, circled the angles. We can take these two expressions and set them equal to each other to solve for x. So that's what we're going to do first. That's too big. Let's try that. So we have 5x plus 4 equals 9x minus 24. And I'm going to start by moving the 5x first. I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. So that's going to make it 4 equals 4x minus 24. Then I'm going to move the negative 24 by adding it. So that's going to become 28 equals 4x. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So x is equal to 7. Now that I've solved for x, I still want to figure out what angle K and angle N are equal to. So I only have to plug five, uh, excuse me, seven in for X into one of those. So I'll go ahead and choose uh, angle N. So that's five X or five times seven plus four. Five times seven is 35. 35 plus four is 39. And now I'm gonna place that 39 right here. So that's 39 degrees. This is 39 degrees. And remember, we're still solving for angle M, which is the same as angle J. Now, if we look at the triangle to the left, this one here, we have the two angle measures. So I'm gonna go ahead and find angle J, which is gonna simultaneously be the same answer for angle M. So that's going to be we're going to start off, remember, triangles, all of the angles inside of a triangle have to add up to equal 180. So we're going to do 63 plus 39. That's going to make 102. Okay. And then we're going to do 102 away from 180. So 180 minus 102, that's going to give us 78 degree, uh, degrees. So... Angle J is 78, and that means that angle M is 78. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be our final answer. Let me go ahead and write that out. Angle, measure of angle M is 78 degrees. Final answer. All right. I hope that uh, helped some of you all out. Understanding congruent triangles. Have a great day and see you back later.